Good morning, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Wanderlust Crochet with Dana and this cuddly little cuddle bug right here, Dooley. So we are in Wamsutter, Wyoming. Um, we actually had an over 500 mile day yesterday, which we haven't had for a while because of yeah, road conditions. Now the roads were great yesterday. And so I got up about a half an hour earlier than usual. And I, my plan was, you know, to get rolling at least a half an hour before daylight. Well, I open the curtains on the truck here and look out and there's, there was some snow overnight. I'm waiting till daylight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to play a guessing game, you know, on the, what the road surface, you know, will that surface stop my truck? You know, anyway, I'm waiting till daylight again. Going to go on into Denver today. Try to deliver this load. If they don't accept it early, then I'll drop it in the yard and my DM needs to get on my next load. Um, I don't have it yet. She needs to get on it. I'm not her biggest fan, just saying. <laughs> I was reading about Wamsetter history. It was founded in 1868 to service the Transcontinental Railroad. So there are some stories there, I'm sure. And I'll have to, you know, do some reading, do a little research and find out, you know, what that's all about. Um, now, there's a couple things I wanted to talk to you guys about. First of all, Aunt Martha's Blanket. Now, I, you know, I'm a big fan of Selena Baca's over at the um, um, American Crochet Association. So, and um, I was watching one of her recent Monday live chats, and she was talking about, you know, she was, you know, talking about her woven pillow um, pattern, you know, that's like the teaching stitch of the month. So I go check it out. And what I'm interested in is the formula. I couldn't, I was having a little trouble with the formula. It looks, you know, about, you know, what size you want for what size pillow. So I ordered some 16 by 16 pillow forms. And I, how did I mess that up? Maybe I was just too tired last night. I was talking to my friend Joe, who used to work um, at May Trucking Company um, when I worked there. Um, he actually... <laughs> I dropped my driver's license, my CDL, at a, on the ground at a shipper in Atlanta, Georgia. And I was on my way to Lebanon, Tennessee, when I got a call from my DM, Jeremy, who said, hey, guess what you did? The shipper found your CDL laying on the ground in their parking lot. I'm like, crap, Jeremy, what am I going to do? And he says, his wife, Cindy, is also a DM at... Um, at May Trucking, and Joe was on her fleet, and he said, you know what, Joe picked it up, we got Joe grabbing it, and he's going to meet you at the Lebanon Terminal with your CDL, so I waited, you know, a couple hours when I got to uh, Lebanon, and here came Joe, and handed me my CDL, I think he teased me a little bit about, you know, dropping it, and then uh, uh, he went on, so... Um, and then later on, we swapped loads at, um, Billings, Montana. It seems like I've run into him once or twice since then, you know, when I was, um, still with me. But anyway, was talking to Joe, you know, cutting it up, telling jokes about this parking lot. Because we all have stories about each place we've been to. And he, I don't know if I should mention this. He was propositioned by a man in this parking lot. So I was making jokes about that. Uh, we were both making jokes about that. So anyway, that was fun. So anyway, back to Selena Baca. Um, you know, I come to find out, I know that stitch. I've done that stitch. I like that stitch. 
um, that, you know, in her woven pillow color. And she also did like a, a woven um, washcloth. She really, I mean, um, if I hadn't have failed so miserably on the scorched earth challenge for last year and renewed it, you know, for this year, this was going to be my year of education and I was going to go through the subscription model courses um, from the American Crochet Association. Now I'm a member, um, but these courses, you know, some of them are very basic, but then they go on, you know, they step up in levels. And um, I wanted to go through all of them. I, there's something about completeness. I don't like skipping around in TV series or books, you know, so I want to go to the beginning, even though, you know, those beginning courses are very basic. Um, I find that, you know, I learn from those things. You know, I learned from just doing a, um, pattern in the round, doing her, um, baskets. I learned something. Now I can, Here's the thing, and this is what I told Selena in the, her community um, chat forum page. Um, you know, I do chainless foundations. I do um, intricate mandala blankets. I, you know, I do magic circles. You know, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm high intermediate, I think. I'm not expert, advanced because, um, you know, a lot of people think they are a little higher than they are, and maybe I'm thinking that same thing, but according to the Crochet Guild of America, it takes more skill than the average person realizes to move up in those levels. Um, so anyway, you know, I'm, I'm fairly skilled. Um, my stitches are not big, fat, sloppy, loose, uneven stitches. I do pretty well at what I believe is an appropriate firmness. You know, they're, they're soft, they're flexible, but they're even and they have an appropriate firmness to, you know, those stitches. And uh, I believe that's an important thing. And, um, I think, you know, I put out a, a pretty decent quality work, but like I said, you know, I'm, I'm not um, expert advanced level. I'd like to be, but you know, I find that when I do these little educational patterns that she throws out there, that I learn stuff. So anyway, uh, this was going to be the year of education, you know, and going through those courses, but I decided I need to finish these projects. These projects, I feel like, you know, when I, when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to complete it. Now, again, you know, these. this is the beautiful blanket of Martha's, and it's done in that parlor fans um, pattern that I've talked about so many times. I have ordered four pillow forms um, from Amazon. They're 16 by 16, and I thought, you know, at first I was going to do this woven pillow pattern from the American Crochet Association, but then I thought, you know, if I... If I'm going to do this in the same colors as Aunt Martha's blanket, why don't I make her at least one, maybe two, depending on the time frame, um, pillows in the same stitch as her blanket? Because I'm using the same yarn, because I've got lots of it. So, yeah. So, there's my 10th project for the scorched earth challenge it's just it's crazy 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 that i'm doing this so yeah 10 projects to get done this year so that's what i'm gonna do now i want to talk to you guys about crystal the crazy the um yarny chicken and crazy cat lady she, you know, I approached her about my, um, you know, I asked all of you, hey, do you want, here's the pattern for the um, turtle beach blanket. And so many of you did great and you sent me pictures and I so love that. I love that. But I asked Crystal, you know, would you do um, the, um, would you do the a video tutorial on that? And she said yes. Now, Gia, um, 
from the yarn that was going to do a, like a kit of the yarn. Um, she, like me, things happen, things happen in life, and so she has stopped shipping for a little while, according to the conversation I had with her the other day. Hi, Gia. Um, but it's still something that she plans on doing. So, bear with her. You know, life has been a little chaotic for her and I both this, you know, fall and winter. So, um, she is still planning on doing that. You know, making up those kits to be shipped out for that pattern. Um, and But seriously, you can use, you know, I used for the original blanket. Let's see if I can bring up the picture. Um, for the original blanket, I used I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby and loved it. So, um, GN Crystal came up with, you know, the ice yarn equivalent. And it's awesome. See if I can bring that up and show you the original picture. Um, but anyway, I have linked. I have linked the video tutorial for that blanket that Crystal uploaded in the description box. So I'm really excited to see, you know, who else who follows her tutorial. And really, the blanket itself isn't that, you know, unique. It's a it's a ripple done in, you know, appropriate, you know, beach to light foam, you know, light watercolor to deeper sea color. And, um, you know, it's a ripple done in those colors representing the beach and the, and the shoreline and the deeper water, um, done in the back loops only. But, you know, the coolest part of it is it is the sea turtles. Now, mine had, um, sea turtles, and it had a, um, like a starfish. Now the starfish I just found on somewhere online. Um, but the sea turtles, those baby sea turtles, I had two sizes, a large and a small. That was something I agonized over and I spent days making, uh, you know, coming up with a pattern for those two sea turtles now let me see i've got a i've got a here it is here's the picture of that blanket let's turn it this way so here's my original and that was done in the hobby lobby i love this yarn those sea turtles and that starfish i just love this and i um you know, just ram them out into the sea. This is Peacock. I know that from I Love This Yarn. And then there was, uh, I don't remember what color that was, but this is like a golden sandy color. Now she did this and she did, you know, instead of like a golden sandy color, she, I think this, this one that's looking white on the um, picture is more of like an ice blue like a very light blue let me see I'm pretty sure that's that's what it was but now let me find hers oh those turtles were so fun here's another picture of it I so loved this this pattern and I um, I was able to sell quite a few of those let me go to YouTube <clears throat> to crystal there it is and let me show you the one she did oh where is it at Let's see if I can find it turtle beach let's try that and search it it the link is in the description box here it is See if you can see. See, she really did a great job with this. A great job with that. And I'm just so honored that she um, agreed to do it. Um, 
like I said, G will get to those kits, you know, eventually. But, you know, you can use, it was worsted weight yarn. That's worsted weight yarn, and I can't remember what size hook. It's all in her tutorial. So I hope you guys will check that out. In the meantime, Sleepyhead and I, um, we're going to go for his um, very important morning walk. Mwah. Puppy. Puppy, puppy. And um, we, we're going to get that out of the way, and then we're going to try to get over Elk Mountain. I believe the, you know, Elk Mountain in Wyoming, that goes, it's in between um, Rollins and Laramie. And the wind blows so hard up there. They had 65 plus mile an hour winds last night. Well, I checked the weather and it's, you know, last night and it said it was supposed to be done at 5 a.m. So that was an hour and a half ago. So we're going to try to slip over that mountain. The wind, I'm hauling paper. So yeah, that wind is crazy. So anyway, that's what's going on here on Wanderlust Crochet. I love you guys. Bye.